Gabriel, I'm so glad you stopped by. Oh, sorry it's been a while, Grandma. Not at all. Give me a kiss. Now, come on, sit down. Tell me how you're doing. Mostly pictures of Gabriel, his dad, and Harrison Knight. Granny likes soft lighting. Underwall are portraits of Gran and Granddad when they were young. Gabriel's inherited some good-looking jeans. Gran's knitting. She whips through that stuff like there was no tomorrow. Gran has a way with plants and kids. That clock has been in the Wright family, Granny's family, for centuries. That's my grand. Adorable as always. <laughs> You're such a tease. How have you been, Grant? Just fine, dear. I'm sorry I bothered you at work, but um, I was hoping you'd get a chance to go through your father's things in the attic. Don't be silly. You can call me anytime. What can you tell me about voodoo? Voodoo? What an odd question, Gabriel. Of course, you always were interested in monster movies and all that other weird stuff. You get that from your father and granddad. I don't know anything about it, dear. Of course, it was very big in New Orleans at one time, but you don't hear so much about it these days. Too much else in the world to worry about, I guess. What can you tell me about the voodoo murders? Oh, Gabriel, nothing. And I don't want to. I sometimes wonder what this world is coming to. What can you tell me about Nolens? Nolens is very southern, of course. Though not as much as it used to be when I was a girl. It's gotten much more influenced by the East Coast and that California stuff. Still, it hasn't changed as much as other places, I reckon. We've always been happy here. What can you tell me about Narlings? My goodness, boy, you lived here all your life, just like me. I can't tell you much that you don't already know. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? Hmm. I remember when I was a girl, we always had a St. John's Eve mass. The mass was said at midnight, and we held candles. One time, on the way home, we were waylaid by a large group of drunken revelers. They didn't hurt us, but, oh, I was frightened. My father was furious. We never went to St. John's Eve Mass after that. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I haven't celebrated it in years, Gabriel. I'm sure there's still Mass in the more traditional churches, but I don't go. Have you ever heard of Marie Laveau? Marie Laveau? Oh, of course. She was that voodoo woman, wasn't she? She preyed on people's fears and superstitions, is what I think. There are always those willing to take other people's money for nothing. You stay away from people like that, Gabriel. <laughs> yes, Gran. Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? What kind of snakes, dear? I don't know. Local kinds. Well, we used to get cotton mouths in the park when I was a girl, but I haven't heard of one being sighted for years. Milk snakes and garter snakes are also around these parts, but they can't hurt you. Thanks, Grant. Do you know anything about animal masks? Why, no, dear. Do you mean Mardi Gras masks? Uh, never mind, Grant. Can you tell me anything about a secret voodoo hound fall? Gabriel, my goodness. What are you up to these days? Oh, nothing, Grand, really. You'd better not be. You know you're the only family I have left. I know, Grand. It's okay. Do you know anything about black voodoo? I don't know much about any kind of voodoo, Gabriel. 
Does the phrase Cabri San Co mean anything to you? Hmm. Something without something, I think. Oh, my French is so rusty, I swear my mind is going. No, it's okay. Thanks. Does the name Ogun Badakri mean anything to you? What, dear? Never mind. Have you ever heard of Dambala? What, dear? Never mind. Tell me about yourself. Me? Surely you have something more interesting to talk about. No, come on, Gran. Oh, all right, dear. What do you want to hear? What do you do all day? You know how I love to knit and work in my garden. I also take long walks. It's the only way to keep an old body like mine from stiffening up. You're not old. Oh, don't be foolish. I'm older than the hills. Tell me about before you met Granddaddy. Well, you know I was born Rebecca Wright. My daddy owned a lot of land outside of town. We grew peas and corn and cotton, all kinds of things. It was a good childhood, but my father was very strict. He didn't much let me out of his sight. Tell me how you met Granddaddy. Oh, I met Helson at a church revival. There was a traveling preacher back then, a big fella named Reverend Jim. I even remember his slogan, Come to me to find your way. Your granddad was sitting right behind me and my girlfriend, Alma. And at one point, old Reverend Jim was flinging his hair around with his fine brimstone annex. And a piece of it, one of those small add-on dues for men, went flying off. <laughs> I swear, Helson and I were the only ones that noticed. We both started laughing to beat the band. Everyone looked at us like we were a couple of loonies. <laughs> oh, it was then I knew that he was for me. How you feeling these days? Fit as a fiddle, and don't you worry your head about it. Just tell me anything at all. I had your father when I was 22. The doctors told me I couldn't have any more after him, so... I'm afraid I spoiled him wrong. Just tell me anything at all. I hate to admit it, but I was a jealous little thing when your granddaddy and I were younger. I loved him so ferociously, and he did attract the eyes of the ladies whether he wanted to or not. Just tell me anything at all. I get lonely sometimes, but I have lots of girlfriends in the neighborhood. I call one of them if I'm feeling blue. Just tell me anything at all. I wish you'd settle down and give me a great-grandchild. Oh, grand. Just tell me anything at all. I never loved any man but your grandfather. And I never will. Oh, nothing. Never mind. All right, dear. Tell me about our family. Who would you like to hear about? Your granddad, your father, or your mother? Tell me something about granddad. Your granddad immigrated to America when he was 21. He walked his way through school, met and married me, and we had your father, Philip. Tell me something about granddad. Your granddad supported me and your father with bookkeeping. Oh, I'll tell you what, though, he hated every minute of it. Didn't really like bookkeeping one bit. Maybe that was why he had the worst luck with jobs. Oh, the nights he'd come home afraid to tell me he lost another. And I'd tell him it didn't matter to me, but he felt ashamed, Gabriel. Tell me something about Granddad. Harrison was only 36 when he died. Your father was eight years old at the time. Your granddad was hit by a streetcar in the business district. It took me nearly a year to believe he was really gone. I'm sorry, Gran. Oh, I know you are, dear. Tell me something about granddad. Did you know that your granddad was a poet? He was. He wrote the most beautiful poetry for me when we were courting. I always thought he should have done something with that gift, but... He was such a practical man. Didn't believe in chasing after dreams. 
Tell me about my father. Your father was my only child. How we adored him. Tell me about my father. Philip suffered from terrible nightmares, just like your granddad did. Oh, they were two peas in a pod. Tell me about my father. When Philip met your mother, oh, it was love at first sight. They were married two weeks later. Never looked at a girl seriously until then, and he looked at plenty. You have your father's way with women, Gabriel. And your granddad's. <laughs> Tell me about my father. I wanted to just lay down and die when he and your mother were killed in that car crash when you were only eight. It was the thought of taking care of you that kept me going, Gabriel. The police said your father swerved off the road after being frightened by something. Perhaps a deer on the road, or, or wildcat. Tell me about my father. Your granddad wanted Philip to have a normal life. He was obsessed by that thought. He pushed Philip to go to law school, but Philip was driven to art. He painted almost in a daze. He would get so inside himself when he worked. Tell me about my father. He always hated that it was Margaret's money that supported the three of you when his painting couldn't. I kept telling him, try something more cheerful, like a landscape or two, but he couldn't do it. His work was just too dark and disturbing for the public, you know. Tell me about my mother. Your mother was Margaret Templeton when your father met her. She came from a very wealthy Creole family in New Orleans. She was beautiful and reckless. She was madly in love with your father, of course, but I also think she liked to find her family. Since you're so interested in family history these days, why don't you go by St. Louis Cemetery Number 1 and visit the family tomb? It would be such a sweet gesture. It's just past the Ross tomb, right? Oh, maybe I will. Tell me about my mother. Your mother's family refused to give her money after the marriage. All she had left was a modest trust fund from her great aunt, who happened to like Philip. The remainder of your mother's trust fund became yours when she died. That's what you used to open your bookshop. Tell me about my mother. The Templetons are all gone now. Every last one of them. Oh, they never wanted anything to do with us, of course. What a waste. You know, you get prettier every time I see you. Oh, you. Have you baked any of your incredible molasses pies lately? No, dear. But you let me know when you want some and I'll whip up a half a dozen. You've lost weight. Are you caught in a new man? Oh, Gabriel. Don't be silly. You know there'll never be anyone but your granddad for me. Your hair looks very pretty today, Grant. Well, thank you, dear. So does... Well, you've always had such nice, thick hair, Gabriel. You know, I always tell people that my gran is the prettiest grand old belle in the city. Oh, dear. You shouldn't talk so. What's new, gran? I've been working on baby sweaters for the church bazaar. Keeps me busy. Done anything interesting lately? I raised you. Lately, gran. Oh, you know me, Gabriel. I always got my nose poked in something. It must run in the family. You're looking well, Gran. Oh, thanks, dear. Is there anything you need? Me? No, no, I'm just fine, Gabriel. I have more than enough of everything. Nice weather. Oh, Gabriel, please. It's been just awful. Muggy a summer of my life. Are you okay, Gran? I'm right as rain, boy. Oh, nothing. Never mind. All right, dear. I'm gonna go up to the attic, Grant. Be careful of the dust. 